Hey guys, Ralph with Stray Benzes. Today's topic is how to troubleshoot, or well, better, how to fix not having power when you hit the gas pedal on gas engines on the 126, 124. Uh, the 129 had those, the uh, KJetronic and um, uh, KJ Jetronic, and what other models? Yeah. Oh, the 201, the 190s on some of them. 104, 103, 116, 117 engines. Anyhow, it's the EHA valve, the electro hydraulic uh, adjustment uh, and valve, EHV and EHA valve that uh, sits on the top of the main fuel distribution system. Or it's bolted to the side, actually. And uh, so, Typically, the symptom is, and is a very frequent complaint, idle is great, but when you hit the gas, it's just like, it's bucking, it's it's not developing power, and then all of a sudden, uh, at higher RPM, it just picks up. So that is usually due to the pressure differential being uh, too low. And uh, here's a way uh, to adjust it without the pressure gauges, a quick fix. Uh, I recommend to do it with the gauges, which is going to be featured on a uh, an up, up and coming video, if I have the time. Um, and uh, well, here, here we go though. There, you need uh, two tools that I'm gonna go over with. And yeah, well, give the channel a like, forward it to folks who might benefit from the knowledge of how to fix their stuff themselves because there are a lot of idiot mechanics around that charge a good buck for something that you can do yourself. This is already the EHA block removed. Here it is. It's held in place by two of these screws. It sits right here. Watch out. This is actually leaking, so to me, uh, typically, there are a couple of ports here that if they start seeping or the O-rings have gone flat, which is something that I need to go ahead and look at if, it, if that was the only thing that needs replacing. Could be, but anyway, so you, room, you take the plug off and the two screws. And if you pay close attention, you will see this little port here with a little end head screw in it. So what you need is a good screwdriver because this little screw here, that's not an adjustment screw. This is the cover screw that goes in here and has a little washer, don't lose it. So you need a good screwdriver and a two millimeter end wrench. And what you do is you go in here gently and you don't go overboard you don't mess things up and you give it a quarter turn in and your lack of power from hitting the gas pedal should go away there is a more scientific way to do this but you do need a pressure gauge test set but when you google it it's fairly simple um you <laughs> You, you do need a couple of fittings that you typically come with it, but if you Google KJ Jetronic um, uh, pressure, fuel pressure test kit, uh, typically they have everything included in it because you will need to go into this port here and there's a port here on the side and you need also a T-fitting and a um, shutoff valve in order to balance the pressures. And again, that might be something that I'll cover in a moment. Once you turn it again, don't go overboard. Uh, because if you if you do go overboard, turn it, remember where you had it, and then you turn it back. But uh um yeah, that, that's really all there is to it. Fairly simple forward. Here a trick. Plus, when you stick a new valve on, that's the other tip. If you replace these and you expect that thing to just run out of the box you may be mistaken you might just 
you know so don't go, just go in like replacing stuff and not trying to figure out how it is supposed to work here's this adjustment here it takes a little bit of finagling in order to get it right and again that might be something that i should cover in an, an upcoming video once you have this adjustment made you replace that screw put the cover back on replace the o-rings put this back on tight give it a test run and see uh if that addressed your issue it should all right folks that's all i got keep the classics on the road drop me a note of what other things to cover other than that happy ranching